Hey guys, Brendan here from TAT. So I just wanted to show you one here with the Hyundai iLoad that we've got, um, diesel model. Um, it's just in for a service, but it's been to another workshop about 20,000 Ks ago and it's um, had the engine reconditioned, something you've probably heard of with the iLoads. They, they tend to go through them for the oil pickups blocking up. But um, something that we've come across is it's probably going to happen again if something's not done pretty soon. So, um, I was just looking at the engine over and lots of oil coming out of the intake pipes, particularly for an engine that's just been rebuilt, you know, it's, it's just covered underneath the car. So um, I'll get a shot for you later because I've got um, it hooked up and disabled at the moment, but I'll get a shot. There's a lot of blow-by gas coming out of the oil cap there. Um, so my main concern is that we've got a, a compression leak into the crankcase and we've got massive blow-by that's going to eventually cause carbon in the pickup and um, could destroy the engine again. So a really quick test that I've got set up. We've got an amp clamp on the negative term on the negative um, cable, so we're going to do a relative compression test. And it's something I've been playing around with, I've got a pressure transducer here. So this is the Pico WPS uh, 500, um, set onto range three, so it can read um, up to one psi when it's in that range, but very accurate. And I've just got that with a um, little rubber hose on the dipstick. So I'm basically going to be measuring the pressure inside the crankcase. Um, I've unplugged the injectors here just so that we've um, got it cranking so just like we're doing a compression test so we're gonna go ahead and crank that and see if we can um, pick up which cylinder is or if there is a cylinder that's causing massive blow by so over on the scope I'll get you set up over here so I'm just using two channels at the moment one's the current clamp and to do the relative compression test and red um, is going to be our pressure on the crankcase I'm going to crank it Okay, and we'll take a look at our results. Get our blue amp clamp reading down out of the way a little to make it a bit easier to reach. Straight away to the naked eye, we can see this one here is lower than one, two, three, four, lower. One, two, three, four, lower. One, two, three, four, lower. So we do have a low compression cylinder and pretty easy to see that straight after that we've got higher pressure in the crankcase so it doesn't take much you can see this one to zero psi so we're only talking about you know it's about 0.1 psi if, if you're lucky but um, that translates to a lot of um, smoke and pressure coming out of the out of the oil cap so um, something that I, I saw when i was up here that is probably the cause of the problem if we take a look at the injectors we've got nice or I wouldn't call them nice, you know, but the old bolts. But then on cylinder number three, for some reason, there's a new bolt. I'd say it's stripped thread and someone's tried to re-tap it or something. We get a good shot of that at all. There you go, that shiny one there. Um, so basically, it, it would take further testing to determine if it is um, cylinder three that's causing the low compression, but I highly suspect it is. Um, but this, this is actually under warranty for whoever's done the engine. So um, this is all I'm doing as far as servicing it. And we'll let the customer know that they're about to run into a bigger problem if something's not done. Okay, so we've got this thing running. And the first thing I did is take it off. And I can see there's quite a lot there. Hopefully that's showing up on camera. But um, a lot of blow-by there, which we first saw all of the oil coming out the intake pipes. So root cause, I'd say, is going to be that injector not seeding properly. But um, someone's going to have to look further into that. Okay, guys, so um, that's just a quick um, hint that I'll give you. It's a nice little test procedure, very quick to do um, using the PicoScope. For any more tips and tricks like that, um, get onto the website, tat.net.au, and you'll come across a whole bunch of stuff and a whole bunch of test procedures, um, ways to use the scope. And also, if you get onto Tat Assist, um, we can always help you if you're wondering how to set up your particular brand of scope or any little tricks that you can do. Thanks very much.